Well, we've got another one of those. Um, can you do anything with this for us? Kind of jobs turned up today. And as you can see, it's a bell housing off of, I don't know what, something small. He says it's only a little 1100cc engine or that. Ah. But the problem. This piece here has all kind of got mangled on the end, and it's just a guide bush for the clutch release. And I thought, yeah, just press it out and put a new one in. Surely it's a piece of steel pushed in. And magnet on the stick, you know. No, this is not a piece of steel pushed in. It's not anything pushed in. It's a part of the casting, an integral part of the casting. Oh, what a stupid design. Um, so, can we just weld up the top here and then it can be kind of smoothed back and made <laughs> how it was originally. Uh, oh dear, I don't know. I suppose to go and buy one of these from a dealer, it's going to be a few hundred quid. How much will it cost to actually repair this? I'm still not sure how it can be done really. Welding up the, uh, building this up around here. Yeah, and then we've got to make sure that will almost certainly involve filling in the hole a little bit. So that will have to be probably bored out. I guess you could get away with a file. We'll have to see. And then doing the OD here so that your tin can slide up and down on it. Don't know. Sit up on a mill and. Kind of like boring it, but obviously you're going around the outside rather than the inside. I don't know if that's worth the hassle, but that might be the only way. So let's get this cleaned up and see if we can weld it. Well, a bit of acetone on the paper towel is not doing much. It's getting something off, but uh, let's try something else. Isopropanol on a scotch on an old scotch prime pad. Pretty damn good for cleaning all sorts of things actually. But I don't know what's gone on with this because this is not very smooth. Looks like it's been that seize up, it just slides backwards and forwards surely. It's not like there's something spinning around this, but this is not smooth. Well, I suppose that's uh, a problem for later. Right now what we really want to do is try and clean this top bit. And you can see the crap running off of this. Yeah, I probably should have a pair of gloves on for this. So, 
Well. Oh, sounds nasty. Oh, it looks nasty. You can't cut this off and replace it with a steel tube. That would be a better repair, but that would be a bit of a mission. Apart from anything else, there's a, an oil seal on the other side of this piece. Well, that's the top all of this tube built up a bit. And we've kind of blobbed into the inside. Just got some blobs going inside the, the bore of this tube here, which we'll have to clean out. Because obviously there's a shaft running through this. Um, I don't think it's at all fussy, it just needs to be clearance, so that can probably come out with a file perhaps, I'm not sure. And then the interesting thing is going to be how do we get this down to size. It's going to have to go in a mill, otherwise this is just not going to work. Oh well. Right, I've got this bell housing bolted to the table of the mill. I'm trying to line up the spigot, trying to clock up the spigot in the middle, which is the bit that we've got a got a machine in here around the top. And this is such an awkward blooming thing to do. It always is. The piece is not dead smooth, it's got digs and bumps in it, which this is up your, your readings on the clock, the dial, if you like to call it. And my camera is in the shadow of the light. Um right, it's reading about 13 there. bump there, a little wiggle on the needle and well, that's about 13 and a half
to back a bit. Nope. Fourteen. I don't think that's enough. Let's go around again. I don't know whether that's going to be good enough. I think what I'm going to have to do is to just... That's pretty cool. It's 13. We're going to have to... Leave it a little bit oversized and just kind of polish the last bit down with some wet or dry or something. I'll have another little fiddle at this and then we're going to have to go for it. Well, I just had to grind a flat on the back side, or the bottom, the opposite side, the boring bar, so I could turn it round, because obviously it's cutting on that side now, and it's going to be running backwards. Um, and it kind of looks like I could have usefully have ground it at a bit more of an angle, so that I could make use of have a bit of rake on the tool. This is a positive rake insert in this tool, so it's yeah, it shouldn't be too bad, but it does look like it could have done with a turning kind of this way. I'm not showing this very well, am I? Could have done with being turned more like that. But it's kind of done now, so we're just going to have to give this a go and see what it's like. as we're aiming for. 23.4 That is such a weird size. How odd. 23.4 20, Maybe we go for 23.5 leaving a smidge to rub down with some paper because I'm sure this is not going to line up quite right. And what are we down to so far? 24.4, okay. A millimetre to come off of that. That's cool. And using my little baby calipers, big ones, you've got hope in hell of getting in here. Yep, millimetre to come off, right. Well, I think we're about done here. That is absolutely spot on. Oh, fraction down, actually. Well, nothing left to rub down with some paper. That has got to be it. Right, I've just done the bore of this tube where my welding had kind of blobbed into the inside so I've just cleaned that up in there and I've also just faced the top just with a standard end mill um, a little bit of low spots there overall I'm guessing this is longer than it was originally I don't know if that's got a matter but um, yeah basically I think this job is done and you know what, 
not as bad as I thought it was going to be. I thought it was going to be really, really fiddly, but yeah, it's just like boring anything else, you know. I know we're not boring, we're doing the outside, but same principle. Fiddly lining it up, clocking it all up, and I don't think you've got it quite right. There's a little bit of a step there, but that's pretty damn close. So, we shall see if the, uh, the bearing slides on okay.